alcoholism, drug addiction, and genetics. That is the topic of right now. Well, as well you know by now, I was raised in a, by a drug addict dad that put drugs in my food when I was five years old. And I had alcohol around the house and my, my adoptive mom as well as my adoptive father drank quite a bit and all that and smoked so I breathed plenty of good secondhand smoke so I was addicted to nicotine young too aside from being spiked in drugs and all that and you know they're doing more gene research now and they're finding out more about how uh, genetics are related to a lot of different things like cancers psychological attributes like I know some people that are just plain ignorant uh, they have no common sense they're rigid uh, they're unwilling to negotiate they're just rigid uh, people that are closed-minded narrow-minded prejudiced racist bigots but uh, and then genetically they're probably that way you know so uh, also with genetics uh, you have people that have a different skin color. For example, yellow people or black people have a less possibility of getting melanoma from the sunlight, whereas a whitey can get melanoma a lot easier from the same exposure to the sun. And people are different heights. Some people are taller and some people are shorter than others. And some people have bigger tits. Some people have smaller tits some people have bigger cocks some people have smaller cocks and a lot of this is genetically related unless you want to get a pair of silicone tits or a silicone cock but uh, we're mainly talking about the genetics in relation to alcohol and drugs and in my case I am genetically an alcoholic which means if there's alcohol there and cocaine there and heroin or whatever I am gonna choose the alcohol if you put me on an island those is the last things available and you can only leave me with one thing you would leave me with a few kegs of booze that's just the way I am I've had I've had tons of cocaine around me when I was younger, as my dad was a drug dealer, like I said earlier, all the pharmaceutical drugs in the world you can imagine at my disposal, but um, I always chose the alcohol. That was my preference. So that makes me an alcoholic, not by economics or being able to get it or not. It's just what genetically I have a predisposition to get addicted to. Whereas I've met other people that coke is their thing they're totally addicted to coke they can they can take the alcohol and leave it alone but they gotta have their coke you know so a lot of people are genetically more susceptible to being cocaine addicts than they are alcoholics and uh, same goes with heroin I mean a lot of people are more susceptible to being addicted to heroin uh, than they are say alcohol for example and uh, acid so you know hallucinogenics some people prefer hallucinogenics over all the above and some people prefer combinations you know but I believe the the preference is actually genetic and so I think in the future they'll be able to prove that some people are genetically uh, more susceptible to some of these addictions or not. I guess one particular drug throughout my life that I can say I have found that is the most addictive to me and other people I have met would be nicotine. I would say nicotine is probably cigarettes or chewing tobacco whatever you want to call it 
It's probably the most addictive substance on the planet, far as I know. I mean, I've known people that are smoking through a hole in their throat because they had to have their esophagus removed because it had cancer. And they didn't get rid of all the cancer and they were dying from cancer and they continued to smoke. So, I mean, in a way you can't blame them, they're gonna die anyways, but still. You know, so I would say that nicotine has killed the most people that I know is the most addictive thing. And uh, in the country I'm in right now, um, the tobacco companies have a major hold on people and people everywhere are smoking. I mean, I live in a crowded city. It's so bad that there's secondhand smoke everywhere. So I would say nicotine, out of all the drugs I've experienced, is probably the most addictive uh, to the most people. So, and it's a money maker. So, it will continue to be. So, far as I know, some people genetically are more susceptible to certain addictions than other people. That's just the way it is. And I guess one, if they want to quit, they have to decide what are they more susceptible to. So, for my example, uh, I went to Alcoholics Anonymous because I had to ask myself what did I have a preference to do, you know, the alcohol or the booze, and, and it was definitely, I mean, the alcohol or the drugs, and it was definitely the alcohol. But in my case, I'd been drinking alcohol so long, since five, pretty steady. I mean, in high school, I was doing like a case a day, and it got to the point where the alcohol really wasn't quite doing it. So I had to supplement the alcohol with the other drugs to get the effect that I wanted. But, and then far as genetics go, like I said, I was adopted. I was raised by a freaking insanely abusive drug addict father and a mom that was too willing to stick up to him other than they finally got a divorce and all that. Um, at 40 years of age, I don't know how I lived to be 40. I mean, a lot of the people I grew up with and used with uh, haven't made it to my age. They're dead, long dead. That's another story from different causes that are related to the, the thing. But um, basically, uh, when I met my biological family, uh, they were in fact alcoholics. So my biological mom and my biological dad, all three of my biological sisters and biological brother are all alcoholics and they're all drinking themselves to death just like me which is which is natural for an alcoholic so uh, in my case it is genetic a hundred percent all across the board my whole family has it and even the grandparents have alcoholism so you can't really deny it much and far as the experiment goes I was raised in a completely different household. So I went through 40 years of my life wondering, do I have this genetically or not? You know, this, this alcoholism. I, I really wondered. That was one of the biggest questions in my life, other than other things, but that was that was the main one, you know, is it genetic for me? And in my case, it was. And, uh, that was a good answer to find out. So, but it's, 